What's going on everybody and welcome to another edition of the Soul Food Blog. The Soul Food Blog is meant to enrich your soul and give it everything that it needs in order for you to be a holistic individual. And I am coming for something today that is the enemy of your soul. Yes, the enemy of your soul. And that is fear. Yeah, fear. I know. Something that we all have encountered. Something that at one time or another has gripped us and paralyzed us and has made us feel like, oh, just take me now. I, now, I don't know what situation has put you in that place, what thing has happened that has brought you to that point of fear, but fear is real. And that is something that we all have to come in contact with. Uh, for me, I had horrible fear. A horrible fear of guess what speaking in front of people anything public speaking wise Raphael Mathis was not for it at all and I know just like the the other um, blog post that I did where I told you about my name and what it meant I know you guys are probably looking right now like Raphael afraid to talk in front of people sometimes it seems like I can't stop talking <laughs> but yes there was a time when I was afraid to speak. And speaking in front of people was definitely a no-go. Mm -mm. I did not like it, not at all. And basically what I had, now some people, they have a level of fear, they have a measure of fear. But what I realized is that I had a spirit of fear. Literally, it was something that grabbed me and paralyzed me. And as I'm talking right now, you guys may be able to identify in your life an area in which fear is great, where the fear literally takes you and immobilizes you. And I want you to understand that you may be dealing with a spirit of fear or a great measure of fear. And I want you to know that it's possible to come through that. I will never forget. I went to this youth retreat with my church and the facilitator that was there, she asked us to think about the one thing that was preventing us from walking in our God-given purpose. You guys know I'm always talking about purpose. And so I knew that the thing for me was fear. I knew that fear was my thing. It was the, the one uh, force in my life that needed to go, get out of here. And so I identified that, I understood that, and she had all of us stand in this circle. And she gave us this beach ball. Stay with me now, stay with me. And when she gave it to us, we began to um, intercede to the Lord and begin to ask that we would find freedom from the thing that was holding us back. And so when the turn got to me and I had the beach ball in my hand, I began to believe and understand that if I really wanted to be free from this, I first had to make the choice and then I had to believe that my choice to be free from this would bring about true deliverance, true restoration and bring me to a place where fear no longer gripped me. So I'm holding this, prayers are going forth and literally I could feel the fear in my body come to the central point because the beach ball was at my stomach. Um, and literally the fear went into the beach ball. And when I dropped the beach ball, I'm telling you from that moment forward, from that moment forward, I have not experienced such a great amount of fear again. Why am I coming to you and telling you this story? Um, one, I, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm being very vulnerable this month. I was vulnerable back in the first video for March, uh, and I'm being vulnerable today as well. So, you know, maybe it's just vulnerability month and telling you guys my stories. But I think the reason why I'm telling this story, and I, I'm, I'm thinking that someone needs to hear this because you are dealing with fear. There is something that has been placed before you. You can call it an assignment. You can call it your purpose for your life. You can call it the task that you've been given. Whatever it is that you identify where you say, I have to achieve this. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is who I am. And fear is gripping you. Fear has had you bound. I want you to know that you have the ability and that it is your portion to be free from 
it. I am a living testimony. And I hope that I can be the template for you to understand that fear does not have to live with you. You do not have to carry it a moment longer. And so I want you to understand today is that you can get past it. You can overcome it. You can come through it and you will be better for it. So I'm going to do something that I don't think I have ever done on the Soul Food blog. I want to pray with you in hopes that you will be free from the bondage of fear. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, for any person that may be watching this right now, my simple requ request for them today is that you would deliver them from fear. Whatever the fear is, wherever it is in their life, I just ask right now that you would literally go in and extract it from them, excavate it from the root of their being and cast it away right now. For Lord, I understand and you have given me insight to know that fear should not be a part of anything that they are supposed to do, that they should feel the freedom to move forward and accomplish the plan and the purpose that you have put on the inside of them. So I pray freedom shall be their portion. I pray that faith would rise in them so that they can go forward without hesitation, that they would not be immobilized any longer and that they would not be paralyzed by fear, but by the power that is invested in me through your spirit. Let as they hear this, that fear will begin to just run away, that fear will begin to just disintegrate in their lives and that they will become a distant memory in the rear view of their life. God, I thank you because you are able to do it and you are causing them to understand that they do not have to live with this any longer. This is my prayer. This is my request. This is my petition for them. And I believe that you are able to do it and that it is so and we decree that it shall not be otherwise. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all that I have for you guys today. That is something that I wanted to give you, and I hope that you understand you do not have to live with this fear any longer. If you want, I want you to personally reach out to me. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Messenger, uh, snail mail, however it is you need to get in contact with me, even go to my website, leave me a message. I want to talk with you. And if you want further conversation about this, I want to be able to bring you to a place where fear no longer has its hold on you. Freedom can be your portion. As I always say, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you for going on this journey with me. And I hope that as we continue, we always grow, we always prosper, and we always go to the new levels that are ordained for our lives. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and I hope that you no longer have to deal with fear.